Hi, I'm Kelly Busby with Kingwood College, and today we're going to set up a trait collar. We're also going to set up an aerosol mask, a um, face tent, and a ET tube. All these devices have one thing in common. They have a uh, oxygen that goes to a jet nebulizer or a large volume aerosol generator. I've set the FiO2 at 40%. I will attach it to my flow meter. Generally the flow on these things runs, I usually start these at least 10, and then what you do is you watch the flow running through the thing because you can see the mist while the patient breathes, and you want to see the mist disappearing a little bit, but not too much. Then after I set this up, let me take this back, and then I'll set it all up at the end. I put a hose on, then this hose is going to go to my water trap and I close this off and when I have to drain the hose, I'm going to drain this into the trash. Then my other hose and then finally my patient interface. And this patient interface is a tray collar. So now I'm ready to attach this to the oxygen. This is running at 40%. I'm going to start the leader flow at 10. Now when I set this up, I should see a miss and hopefully you can see that. You want to see this miss going through. Then I attach the trait collar and I put it on my patient. Hello, oh, Mr. Head. I'm going to give you 40% oxygen now. I lift his head and this goes around his neck. So it's loose enough if he turns his head, he's comfortable. Now this is how we gave Mr. Head a trait collar. Now we're going to move him over here. And I'm going to take Mr. ET tube. Now I take the ET tube and this is a T tube. It's shaped like a T. On the bar, we have the two hoses and the one that goes down goes to the patient. When he's breathing, you can see the mist disappear here. This is for an ET tube. This is the ET tube. This is the, the uh, uh, T-tube adapter. And this is his reservoir. If you put it like this, he doesn't get as much oxygen. So we'll attach this. Now, he's better and he needs a face mask, an aerosol face mask. I just changed. Notice I'm using the same device for everything. Now we have an aerosol mask which would fit like this or a face shield which will fit like this. Now it's important you put your chin in the right place. You want to have the gas blowing to your nose. So I put this on here and you can see the face. If you see it upside down, you can see how it doesn't make much sense. See how it's not going to where I'm breathing? That was upside down. This is the correct way. Okay, you stop now.